Makovnikov hydration. Acid catalyzed hydration is great, but it goes through a carbocation intermediate. Anytime you get a carbocation intermediate, rearrangement might be an issue. If this alkene is our substrate, and we do Markovnikov hydration, we expect to see this product. However, since we're using acid catalyzed hydration in this case, we're going to get a rearrangement. And this is not the product we will see. Once the carbocation intermediate is formed, a 1-2 hydride shift occurs, putting the positive charge here. So that's where the water ends up attacking, and you get this product. Does that mean it's impossible to get the product we initially desired? No, it's not. We just need to employ oxymercuration, demercuration. This gives you Markovnikov hydration without rearrangement. This is a two-step process. Your first set of reagents are mercuric acetate and water. That first step is the oxymercuration step. That forms a three-membered cationic cyclic intermediate. This intermediate is called a mercurinium intermediate. The most electrophilic site in the mercurinium intermediate is the more substituted of the ring carbons. And that's where water attacks. This puts the hydroxyl group in the more substituted position, the Markovnikov product. Then the sodium borohydride is responsible for demercuration. and you get your Markovnikov hydration product. Note that the stereochemistry is anti, which is always the case when you go through one of these cyclic three-membered intermediates.